Welcome back to Rats Us Hot Rods. We're in full recovery mode after shoulder surgery on Monday. It's been three days uh, just getting off the narcotic painkillers. Thank God I don't uh, fare very well on those. But I'm um, feeling pretty good. Um, decent amount of pain, but manageable. Um, and now it's time, like I promised, to sit down and, and crank out a bunch of these videos uh, while I'm laid up rather than binge watching some other Netflix show, which I three days is, is plenty of that. So we're looking for other things to do here. So we're going to make some videos for the next few days and uh, get some stuff out to YouTube land. This is the fourth part of the Road Glide paint job, the Paint a Motor, Paint a Harley in Your Garage uh, series that we've been doing. Um, and this one is basically going to show you um, from the base black, uh, black base coat that we did in, in part three, um, we're laying down the fine line, then we're going to spray urban titanium over that. And then we're going to clear that all out, and then I'll have some pictures at the end of the final product. Um, I'm going to try and drop in some um, tips as we go along here and, and play a lot of music. I'm not sure what the right speed is for putting down fine line tape, because I think you can get a lot by just watching somebody put it down. I know um, I, that's how I learned, and then going out and practicing myself. But we're putting uh, two quarter-inch lines in, in five pieces um, of the Harley and they matched the original Harley paint job was a black with a silver pinstripe. This is going to be uh, an urban titanium uh, main base color with a black stripe. So it's really subtle. Um, that's the way the owner of the bike wanted it. Um, so that's how we're doing it. <clears throat> so we're going to run through. Um, I think I could speed this up a little bit here and then play some music and I'll jump back in. Um, a few tips for you paint your what I like to do is paint that color of the stripe the night before in the evening and then get back out in the shop early in the morning the next day not crazy early um, and then start laying down the fine line you can put the tape down sooner um, if you like but I like having that extra you know eight to ten hours of dry time before I put that down I've never had any problem with that um, seems to work out pretty well for me <laughs> And uh, I haven't had any lifting or anything like that. I think that um, kind of that overnight curing process works good. And it's within, depending on what base coat you're using, it's it's generally going to be within your um, recoat window, which is when you need to get that next layer of paint on your base coat. Um, for this, this is uh, Deltron, and it's 24 hours. So I'll have this thing all the way through clear within that 24-hour uh, coat recoat window um, by doing it this way. Paint the first color base the night before on a fresh sealer. Uh, come out in the morning, start laying your stripes down, hit it with base, let that cure out, <clears throat> pull your tape, and then hit it with clear. I'm going to back out. I'm going to speed the taping up a little bit, and then uh, you guys feel free to ask any questions that uh, I don't answer along the way. been talking to the workers, but they haven't heard a word you're saying. They talk about you behind your back and wait from behind counters of laundry mats. You know, if you lost your way. that wasn't too fast that was uh, five times speed um, there's a couple guys that I've watched do uh, motorcycle tanks on YouTube and I'm like sitting there fascinated by watching them lay down the fine line and then it speeds up and I'm like trying to slow it down in my mind but uh, 
I don't want to make this a half an hour long video of just putting tape down, so um, I guess this is how we'll try it. If we don't like it, we can always put up that raw footage like the gunman does, and you can watch the whole boring process. To tape the uh, these five parts out, it took me four hours um, to get all this right. And some things to remember with this stuff is uh, it's definitely more of a an art form than a skill. Um, and it's tape, so you can take it back off if you need to. Just keep that in mind. And you can put it on and off, you know, three or four times, then try another piece. But <clears throat> it really is uh, kind of eyeballing um, things up. You can do some measurements and some basics there, but you really got to uh, sit there and uh, um, use your eyes to get everything lined up. So we're using a, a process where I look at um, the pictures that I have on my phone there, and then uh, once I get one done, then I kind of copy that one, set them up next to each other, take a look at it. And then once I've... Uh, I think an important thing that not everybody points out that probably should is... Uh, that they probably should is uh, when you get your tape where you want it and you're ready to lock it in you need to take your thumb and go back over and press the whole thing down and you'll see that right before I lay down the base I'll go through and, and do that to every single one of them um, I think that's a helpful tip I do it here but I do one more for insurance so you don't have any um, bleed through when of that uh, that base coat that you spray over the top of it um, what else can I tell you hmm not much. I'm going to speed this back up. Um, those holes in the back of this saddlebag were uh, put in for a speaker system that's going in after. Uh, not drilled by me. I'm not taking credit for that. But, um, yeah, that's why those are all there. Let me speed this back up, and uh, I'll join you back here in a few minutes. It takes more than just a storm science or anything special like that but if you're going to do a bike and it's got a lot of parts uh, make a bunch of stands if you're trying to um, do it <clears throat> using uh, traditional paint stands and, and you know like you would in a body shop you're going to run out of space and you're not going to have the freedom to move things around um, so just buy yourself a couple two by fours and make yourself a base like that and then you can make different top pieces um, that'll that'll work with whatever piece of uh, uh, equipment that you're painting on the top. I think it's uh, it, it certainly helped me. I've never done it this way before and I've seen um, um, uh, Far away on his channel do something very similar when he paints bikes. So I stole that idea uh, did my carpentry a little bit differently and uh, and Did it this way that way um, It was kind of nice P positioning everything like chess pieces so you can walk around in between it and get your painting done was uh, really helpful, too 
Um, the tank, as you can imagine, is one of the more important things as far as getting these tape lines really nice. So this is going to take a little bit longer. Um, but it is important to spend some time on the tank. And the, the top line on this is goes just below the Harley badge. Um, and it's a pretty much an exact um, copy of what was there in silver before. So, yeah, I think um, we'll cut back out and do some music.
Time for some wax and grease remover. Um, we have firmly pressed all of that quarter inch fine line uh, tape down um, prior to doing this. And then you're going to see me do that one more time uh, right before we hit it with uh, the base coat. Um, stress that. Can't stress that enough. You don't want the bleed throughs when you're doing this. Go back and press that tape down. It's a really simple, quick measure that can guarantee you uh, no bleed throughs or at least get you your best possible chance for that. But uh, yes, wax grease remover because you've had your hands all over it all day putting tape on it for the last four hours. And then uh, final press of the tape. And then we're going to base coat. Just to reiterate, having some water on the ground helps a lot with uh, dust collection and dust prevention in your paint. Um, I did this in my last video, or I actually do this on every paint job, but there's always some water kicking around in there. It kind of puddles in my uh, janky floor, um, so there's always some extra around, so I usually walk around with a broom right before I'm going to hit that base. Uh, so keep that in mind. Keep a nice wet floor. Not too wet to where you're splashing and dragging your hose through it, though. You want it to be uh, moist concrete. I don't know if that's such a thing. It sounds disgusting, but you want it to be wet, but not soupy wet to where you're splashing in it and getting it up into your paint job because that will happen. Up in attic. I'm really hurt bad by this sweet girl now we We're so innocent when we first started out She's a young girl and she don't treat herself right She never knew what she was giving up That night he broke her down They lived together Her emotions changed I let her call her every day He broke her down Alright, we're in the process of putting this uh, Three coats of Urban Titanium down um, on all of these base parts. Um, not much to say here. Uh, that is the mini SATA jet that I won from Sprayway Customs. See there? Slipping in the water. Too much soup over there. But once you start painting, you got to keep going. Anyway, uh, SATA mini jet. And yeah, you can see just how slippery it is. And this is where I kick my flip flops off. And uh, yeah, this is my Florida roots, guys. I don't think I wore shoes for 24 years when I lived down there. Anyway, <clears throat> SATA Mini Jet. Um, that's a 3M Papper. That's a pressurized air, positive air pressure respirator, what that stands for. So it's pulling in air on my back there through that um, carbon filtration and giving me fresh air, like uh, feels kind of like air conditioning up there on my face. Um, some people have asked why I use this. I think somebody called it uh, fantasy equipment. Um, it isn't fantasy equipment, it may look that way, but uh, it works really, really well. I know Double R um, over on his channel uses one too, and I can certainly vouch for it. I work in the healthcare industry, and they use that to protect uh, nurses from airborne um, infections. So it definitely works, and you can spray base and you're clear with one of these things on, and I don't know about you guys, but when I wore a regular respirator over a over a beard, I can always smell some form, some hint of paint. You can't smell anything when you're wearing one of these things. It's just fresh air. Um, so it's a valuable investment in your life and your health. So if you don't have one of these space age fantasy pieces of equipment, you should check it out or at least try one, like demo one, because um, I will not paint without one. All right, I'm going to speed it back up. We're going to slam all this urban titanium out. Then I'm going to come back when we start peeling the uh, tape lines off. I'll give you some tips on that. We'll clear it and show you the final product. She's got words she's afraid to say. Nobody ever loved her better than him. Little girl, do you understand him? Did he know you better when he's fucking somebody else? He's the only man that ever loved her. Well, little girl, don't you know no better? Go back to him and lie to yourself. 
I had less than a minute I built myself this jail and now I stand in it She started something with me But now she's done did I know we'd have two weeks I had her then I lost her He broke her down I had her then I lost her I'm not down with this half high school bullshit I'm drinking like a cold, like a new alcoholic I rant and I rave at these walls of homie in it She fucks the one and fucked over, just get fucked over again She's crossed the wrong time and now this is about revenge If I was gonna kill him, he'd already be dead But that crying half bitch of a man better get it through his head Can't mess around with a man that comes from the country <sighs> Yeah, cause they broke her down They live together her emotions change a little colder every day. Okay, three coats of bases down, uh, urban titanium. Um, so now it's time to go in there and remove the fine line tape. I don't know if you can see it in my hand there, but there is a uh, hobby knife, exacto knife, um, with a sharp point that if you're, if and when you're removing tape. Um, fine line tape, it is really helpful to get things started or um, if you get hung up in a portion where it looks like it might peel base, you can always kind of scribe with it um, really gently and keep that moving. Pay uh, good attention to your dry times. Make sure that uh, you've followed the instructions thoroughly on whatever paint you're using. Um, I wait about an hour um, after these three base coats are applied and then come back and start pulling the tape. You don't want it to be, you know, days later, you don't want it to be too soon, um, but you do want to give it time enough to um, get to where it is it is cured. Um, you want it to flash is the word I'm looking for right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I am no longer on narcotics, but I am starting to feel a little bit weary, surgery weary making this video, so forgive me for that. Anyway, Get yourself a hobby knife, uh, get yourself a lot of patience, uh, maybe get some slip resistant shoes other than the ones I'm wearing, um, and work your way around and slowly peel it. The other thing to do with fine line tape is to pull directly back on itself. Um, so if you're, if you can see that tape, it's, you're not pulling off to the left or the right, you're pulling directly 180 degrees against the, the way the tape was run. That'll help you cut through that base that you just sprayed over it. It'll be a really nice tight line that way. Hmm, anything else? Patience, lots of patience. And remember, if you screw something up, it's just paint. You can do it again. It's not the end of the world. It took me a long time to realize that. that you know what? This is the best way to learn, and I'm doing it myself. And if I screw it up, the great thing is, it's just paint. It's not life or, life or death here. Um, so I can go back and redo it. So keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff. It's not the end of the world. You can always redo it. That's what's good about paint. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, and then uh, we'll jump back in. We'll clear it, and we'll uh, show you some pictures on how everything turned out. down the block I just asked for a cigarette and smoked it in context I soon would forget I was lonesome she was lonesome I guess she waited till I was desperate but for an hour or two we had no regret staring up the old clock tower revealing this wretched hour hear them ringing hear them ringing the sound remains the same We have both changed all the bells I'm calling I told her, I asked her If she thought it ever really 
really matter what you did to her body, but... Okay, uh, all the fine line tape came off without a hitch. Real happy with that. Uh, the suit is on because we're in clear. And uh, we're going to lay down three coats. I won't show it all. I'll speed it up here in a minute. And then we'll uh, kind of talk about the end result and show you some pictures of that. In this polluted bed, confusion for my head. I had to escape this room and then I can't pretend to be myself again. Up the old clock tower, revealing this wretched hour. I hear them ringing, ringing. Sound remains the same, though we both changed, baby, the bells. Lonesome Sunday, the avenues are paved With all the promises I lied to myself And then reached out for somebody else Time to wrap this video up. We just hit it with three coats of clear. Um, really smashed it on there, as the gunman would say, um, to help it flow into those lines. It did good. I didn't have no runs or drips or errors on this one, so uh, super happy. You'll see some pictures here um, straight out of the booth right after the paint job. Um, some out in the sun were taken a couple hours later, but the, the cut and buff hasn't been done on them yet. Um, this is a picture straight after paint right here. Uh, saddlebag, as you can see, the, the lines came out pretty good. I thought um, they were going to be a little bit understated. The customer insisted on that black line, and they came out pretty darn cool looking, especially when the bike was assembled. There's some out in the sun. That urban Subaru Urban Titanium looks pretty darn cool. On the battery covers there, you can really get the dimensions. Here's a group pick of everything before it goes away. And to all of you guys, thanks for the subscriptions, the likes, the comments, and all the well-wishers from the surgery. Peace and grease, sucker.